Welcome to the AIM Learn Fast e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training for your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This AIM Sports Learn Fast training module is configuring a solo DL for an ECU connection. The AIM Sports solo DL is much more than a simple GPS lap timer. With the ability to connect to your vehicle's ECU or engine control unit, the solo DL is a true data logger. Like the Solo, the Solo DL locates its GPS position and starts automatically displaying and recording lap times based on an internal list of the largest and most popular racetracks or from a racetrack that you add. However, in addition, the Solo DL with a simple connection logs all of the data coming from your vehicle's ECU and all of the GPS and ECU data can be displayed on the Solo DL with user-defined layouts. And finally, after an easy download onto your PC, the data can be deeply analyzed using the free AIMSports Race Studio 2 software for both driver and vehicle improvement. But first, the Solo DL must be configured to log and display ECU data. Check the AIMSports.com website for a list of hundreds of currently available ECU protocols and be aware that we are creating more all the time. To begin setting up your Solo DL with an ECU protocol, open the System Manager section of your Race Studio 2 software. Once you have the software open, we want to configure the Solo device. So select the Device Configuration button. And that will open this panel showing all of the products that can be configured. In this case, click on the Solo DL button. And then click on the Go To button. If you have never created a configuration for your Solo DL before, this window opens and gives you three choices. Create a new configuration, import a configuration file from another user or PC, or receive the configuration already set up on a Solo DL. In this case, we are going to create a new configuration, so click on the New button. And this new configuration window opens. At the top of the window is the connected data logger type. In this case, it is a Solo DL and is currently grayed out and cannot be changed as it has not been read from the PC connection. Next is the new configuration name and we will come back to that in a moment. The next box is the ECU manufacturer. Click on the Open button for a list of all of the available ECU manufacturers. For this example, we are going to select Honda. So use the right elevator bar to scroll down to the Honda ECU. And there it is, select the Honda item. Now that we have selected the ECU manufacturer, we need to select the ECU model. Click on the Open button. Here we have four choices of Honda ECU models. In this case, we will select the Civic US model. The next three boxes are to set some global units for the data. First, click on the Open button to see the speed unit choices. The choices are kilometers per hour or miles per hour. We will select the mile per hour item. Click the Open button to see the temperature unit choices. The choices are Centigrade or Fahrenheit. We will select the Fahrenheit item. Click on the Open button to see the pressure unit choices. The choices are Bar or Pounds per Square Inch. We will select the PSI item. Now that we have selected all of the options that fit our needs, we need to name the configuration. Just click into the new configuration name box and rename the configuration Honda. When you get all of the options set the way you want, click on the OK button to finish the process. Now that the configuration has been created and saved, the System Manager shows you all of the channels that are now available. There are, however, several other functions I would like to talk about before moving on. First, let's click on the Configuration Manager button. This panel opens and shows you all of the different Solo DL configurations that you have created and stored. In this case, we only have the new Honda configuration. In this panel, you can create a new configuration, delete an existing configuration, clone or copy a configuration, as well as import or export configurations. Click on the OK button to close this window. The next area is the SmartyCam Function Setting button. Let's go ahead and click on it. This opens the Set Functions to Channels window. This function allows you to connect or assign channels 
regardless of their names to any of the SmartyCam graphical overlays. Let's show how this works. The SmartyCam has graphical objects that include water temperature, so the system needs to know what channel you want to assign to the water temp function on the SmartyCam. So for the SmartyCam function of water temp, click on the corresponding open button to see the choices. The software does have some intelligent filters to help narrow down the choices, and the choices here are HOECT, abbreviated for engine coolant temp, or HOIAT, abbreviated for intake air temp. If you want to see all of the channels without any filter, just check the Enable Channel for All Functions checkbox and all channels will be shown. But in this case, we will select the engine coolant temp item. After you have assigned the channels to the functions, click on the OK button to close this window. We also have some choices on what our gear position sensor is. It can be calculated, from the ECU, or not use one at all. In this case, let's click on the None button. The Solo DL can also manage one of our LCU-1 Lambda sensors. To add a Lambda sensor, click on the Add LCU-1 CAN Configuration button. This brings up all of the different settings for the LCU-1. In this case, we do not want to add an LCU-1, so we will click the Remove LCU-1 CAN Configuration button. The software asks you if you are sure. And we are, so click on the Yes button. And we have now created and saved a new Solo DL configuration. But always remember that we have just done all of this on our PC in the Ray Studio 2 software. The last step in the process is to always transmit the configuration to the Solo DL. To do this, make sure your Solo DL is turned on, connected to your PC, and then click on the Transmit button. After just a few moments, the software confirms that the configuration was transmitted to the data logger. Click on the OK button to finish the process and close the confirmation. This completes the Configuring a Solo DL for an ECU Connection video. For more AIMSports Learn Fast eTraining content and information about upcoming on-site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIMSports products when and where you want it.